Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Hades, where today we're uh, hopefully gonna get a couple of gods unlocked. I don't know exactly what we have to do for all of them, although now we, we've we got some idea now. We've seen a couple of locks break, um, so maybe we could make some kind of estimation. What would it be for Poseidon? It could be a fishing thing. Poseidon's obsessed with fish. I feel like we've done a lot of fishing, but maybe it's like, maybe it's like catch one of each fish. Which we certainly have not done. Um, what do we what do we think we have failed to do? So these are all the void fish. Hellfish and knuckleheads are definitely from Tartarus, so this is something from Tartarus probably. All the lava fish are together, then the Elysium fish. Okay, so there's two surface fish that we've never seen. Every every single time we've caught a fish on the surface has been one of these mysterious fellows, so... Yeah, maybe that's what it is, just get all the fish. Um, we don't really have a lot of control over that, and surface fishing spots do not come up very often, so we might just be doomed on that one, unfortunately. Uh, boy, I have no idea what it would be for Athena. For Aphrodite... Similarly, no idea. Okay, actually, this is not... For Hermes, it's probably the, the Charon thing. If we get the opportunity to fight Charon late in this run, we should probably take it, even if it kills our run. And for Demeter... For Demeter, I have no idea. Okay, well... <laughs> I guess let's just get out there and hope that we stumble into it. We have the right keepsake, we have the right weapon. Everyone. A little bit of... a little bit of... Zeus aspect to here. Zeus someday? Imagine me with a luxurious white mane without a modicum of self-control. That's your Zeus. Oh, that's unfair. He's also so much more conceited than you are. Glad I'm on his good side. Well, for the moment, anyway. What does one offer to the god of wine? The very best is what. And down here, this is it, mate. I'm grateful I've got some of your spirit in me. To have such a connection with you despite all the distance between us. Sag, I cannot believe what you're offering to me. Ambrosia man for me? And talk about a bottle that has seen some wild days and nights. I mean, if it got all the way to you down there, only to come back up. Know what? I'm saving it till we can share it here. Gosh, I really hope that this plan works. <laughs> I like that very much. I really hope that this plan works and that the, like, the fondness that we have created amongst the Olympians protects us from consequences, because I imagine if it doesn't, they're only going to be so much madder that it seems like I was trying to butter them up, right? You men must be mates with just about everybody down there by now, yeah? Doling out nectars left and right, just livening the place right up. Uh, okay, I do want special hangover, but obviously I wanted it at a higher level than this. You know what? We'll take Trippy Shot for right now. Trippy Shot is certainly also good. I gotta say, I've, because it has happened so many times, I feel really bad every time it doesn't happen that we get, like, um, an Erebus Gate or a Chaos Gate in that first room. It feels like we're starting the, starting the run at such a deficit. Okay, I do think that a Palm is pretty good with our current boon. With, you know, this one boon that we have. Die again. And then maybe we get to visit Chaos. We'll see. Yeah, actually, just like the raw damage from the Blitz Disc is going to be really impressive once we... Ow. Yeah, I did that to myself. <laughs> once we get it upgraded the rest of the way. Alright, so... Interesting. Do we want to pull an Ares? Hmm... The Ares Dionysus duo is really good. We have no idea what Chaos might do. Oh, did I forget? I think I did. I think I forgot to buy any nectar before we left. Well, it doesn't matter a tremendous amount. It just means we can't give nectar to Chaos. Uh, I'm gonna actually go for the Ares boon. I think I think we want Ares in the build. Okay. 
apparently, maybe we'll be able to get some, uh, some cool higher level rewards here anyway. I feel like I just never bull rush uh, with this aspect. Because there's very little reason to. A gift. That drunk of Dionysus cannot help you near as much as I, my hellborn kin. Compare the gift he gave to what I offer you. Ooh, wow, yeah, you're really, uh, really coming through heavy here, huh? Well... I'm assuming we need Curse of Pain. I'm assuming we need a, um, one of the five basics, right, in order to get their duo. And if we're planning on leaning into, um, Hangover, this duo is incredibly good. So I think we should take it. Uh, let's see, we need Curse of Agony or Curse of Pain or Curse of Vengeance and then some source of Hangover. Still hoping for Hangover on special. Uh, I think we're gonna take the big heart. Let me in. Getting Athena in here certainly would not be bad. I see that you've returned. So hangover on attack would still be fine. Like this is good, right? And maybe we could uh, maybe we could finally end up really trying out the majesty of the uh, of the stacking doom thing. All right, I've seen enough. No problem. Uh, boy. This is not very compelling. We have a lot of rerolls. I think we're going to take the darkness here. Again, just mostly for long-term <laughs> resource generation purposes. Yeah, I mean, this is working out okay. Obviously, I would have preferred some higher rarities. And maybe I should have just used a reroll on Ares. I'm trying not to be too inflexible with our builds, though. Trying to sort of roll with what the game wants to give us a little bit. Yeah, I gotta say, this is definitely one of my favorite builds. I don't know that I necessarily think it's one of the most powerful. The but I just... Power. I like manipulating the shield around the room. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, well, if we think we might actually have to catch one of each fish, probably a skeletal lure at this point is a good idea. I wonder if, um, I wonder if fishing in a mini boss room gives you a bonus to the rarity of your caught fish. That would be neat, right? Oh, I didn't quite manage to get the wall smash. Honestly, though, maybe you can't wall smash him. He seems out. There we go. I did get it. Okay. Olympus guide you from the dark, cousin. I have a token of it for you here. Okay, I don't really want Divine Strike because I still want Hangover. Well, I mean, we could take... Hangover on Dash wouldn't be terrible. We're definitely getting into... Um, if we go for that, though, we're definitely getting into territory where, like, the Hangover is not providing a lot of damage. Which makes the um, makes the duo boon between Ares and Dionysus a lot less compelling. Honestly, I might just take Athena's aid. I don't think it's very good as far as calls go, but Athena's power. 
the epic version of it is at least like it is powerful. You get to you get to I be immune for a really long time. I would just really prefer one that actually does something instead of one that prevents something from happening. It's gonna have to rely on our actual damage output. Got it. I caught a knucklehead. That's not the new fish. That's an old fish. Although I do still find the knucklehead very funny. Show me a cool hammer boon. I mean, at, probably it's obvious what I was really hoping for from Athena there was the dash. Huh, did I take two hits from one projectile there? Because it, it couldn't have been the case that the... Um, that the which I was hitting, cast on us and hit us, right? Because it was being stunlocked. I'm not sure what happened. I think we I think we got hit twice, but I'm not sure 100% why. Yeah, that's pretty good. If we, if we could get the stacking doom thing, I think it would go from pretty good to really great. You know, we could do this. We could we could be we could become the ranged shield build. I like it. My shield grows stronger. So we could we could do that pretty quickly. Uh, I will do this. Get your hands off my throat. I think we're still probably gonna play up close and we're just gonna use this in part to allow us to attack twice more quickly. It does seem like it hits quite a lot harder than the base shield attack too, even at even at a very low level of, uh, of charge. Like we we can just dash in on people. You live to throw all that. Swing once to start the charge up and then release it very quickly afterward. Cheers. Well, we're certainly not ready for shopping. Man, we're already back over a thousand uh, darkness. Just call that back to us. Also, I gotta say the knockback on the uh, on the the shot is quite impressive. And then on, in places where it's frustrating to have to attack in melee, like against Asterius or something, we can rely on the shot much more. We have this very safe... <laughs> we have this very safe Wall of Doom strategy available to us. Feeling tough. Yeah, this feels like a pretty good strat to me. Uh, so... If we go this way, we're going to be able to give him another... Ambrosia, although I don't exactly know what doing so will do for us, mechanically speaking. Maybe nothing. Right, I am... That is how that's going to work, right? I guess... Hold on. Others of note... Uh, Sisyphus. Yeah, there's totally more stuff here. But leveling up our relationship with the person who gave us a companion has not, at any point, actually improved the companion. I'm not 100% clear on what the... Maybe there is no mechanical value to doing that. Maybe it's just, you know, story stuff. Just to be nice to people. Given how much we have left, I wonder if that's a thing maybe to avoid? And in terms of long-term gain, I actually think the heart might be more significant. I'm going to do this. I'm going to be honest with you, I kind of forgot that we were going to have the ability to give multiple Ambrosia to uh, to the people who gave us the companions. And we don't have to max everybody out on everything uh, in order to actually complete the game. Uh, but also, we may, we may well 100% and just max everybody out on everything. I don't know, we'll see.
yeah, it's definitely pretty good DPS if we continue charging forward. But also, safety. There's something to be said for safety. And also for being able to hit enemies that are trying to run away from you at a distance. I also like the fact that there's so much pushback, it's really easy to keep enemies in the, uh, in the spin. That'll keep me going for a bit. I think this build already has a lot going for it, and it'll have a lot more going for it if I can get that damn Dionysus boon. <laughs> That said, if he were to offer us, um, if he were to offer us a take back on the special, give us a nice high rarity version of his thing to overwrite the doom, I might take it and try to try to swap uh, Ares onto the onto the normal attack. Oh, I. Shoved him out of the area of the trap. That's not so smart. Yeah, this build feels... It feels pretty okay. Uh, no thank you. We would... I would totally take another fishing lure if it was offered to me. Yeah, actually, that's really nice. The ability to, like, let the shield hit an enemy once, put up the Doom, and then shove them into it uh, so that th as the Doom pops, they take another charge. Feels very powerful. shop. I think a palm is pretty good here. We don't really need food. So the shop, if the shop is boon palm or boon heart, this is just really great. I think we'll just take the shop. It's boon boon, which of course it never is unless you, <laughs> unless you can't afford it. Well, I think we will take Ares then, right? Yeah. Don't spend it all in one place, mate. Let's take Ares and grab... Uh, gee, Impending Doom? How exactly does the Stacking Doom boon work? Does it just require you to have, to have any one Doom thing? Here it is. It requires specifically Curse of Agony or Curse of Pain, but we, we are there. We could get it. Um, hmm. Well. We could take Curse of Agony here in hopes of getting to replace Curse of Pain. Uh, or we could just go really, really deep on Doom. This could turn out to be mostly an Ares run. I like Impending Doom a lot more when we have better damage on our Doom in general. I'm, I'm gonna do this. this means we're gonna we we're gonna go for something a little bit unorthodox here. Hope I didn't keep you waiting, ladies. I'm ready, sister. If there's anyone in all the underworld who owes you Zagreus, it's your friend Sisyphus. He would be much worse off if not for you. What, because I've been distracting you from administering lashings like before? I hate to think you prefer to whip with no fear of reprisal whatsoever, Meg. Dereliction of duty and fear of reprisal are not one and the same. Though you don't seem to be concerned with either one. Ah, she's got me there. No.
But I thought she was coming down for a different attack. I was a little surprised when we got suddenly hit by the Blade Rift. Hey, listen, our build is definitely not in its primary, uh, definitely not in its optimal form just yet, but honestly, I don't think it's going terribly. Yeah, the Blitz Disc is just, it's really fun to, <laughs> it's really fun to use. Oh, she faked me out. She wound up her attack and then stopped doing it, and then as soon as I came in, wound it up again. Yep, the Blitz Disc does affect enemy projectiles, so if she starts doing her spread shot, you just throw it on top of her and it completely deletes everything. Seems a little unfair. It is probably the case, my bet is, that the uh, Chaos version of the shield is better, like objectively, but this is fun. This is more fun. <laughs> so I don't know what we want to take now, honestly. Um, it might be the case that Support Fire would be awesome with our build, so maybe we should grab that. If it, or grab Artemis and try to get Support Fire. The other thing we could do is we could force Ares and just try to get more, um, get more Doom stuff. I'm gonna take Artemis right now. Might help. I'm pretty sure Support Fire would fire an arrow each time our special does any damage to any enemy, and I think that means a lot of arrows. So let's hope that we can. Let's hope that's a thing we can make happen. Hold on, I should look at this. Um. Should help keep me going. I would take a trove. I will take a trove at this point. Up we go. I think good. any trove would be good, right? I would be least happy to see gemstones, but we we would do an asphodel gemstone trove. Ugh, this heat. Mostly, any trove would be good enough. Well, I guessed correctly where I was going to be able to get him to come down. I did pay a price for it. Didn't really go the way I was hoping. Man, nowhere is ever safe to stand. Zagreus, if only you could turn yourself into a woodland creature and just fly or burrow out of there. My Callisto, she can turn into a bear. You ever seen those? monstrous furry things quite huggable if they don't kill you first uh do not attempt to hug a bear just feel this <laughs> is feel like i should make the point that everybody should try not to hug bears pressure point Time seems really good especially alongside uh doom and yes yes i will gladly take this do not so much as think about it Man, I always forget how much pushback the shield has naturally. You can really, uh, really knock an enemy all the way across the screen with it. You can also knock them clean out of one of your, uh, one of your cast effects. Wow, that was yeah. that was a huge amount of damage that I took there in pursuit of not even making any money. <laughs> that almost didn't pay for the trove tracker. It was how bad that was. Try to get these guys standing still here.
but it definitely feels like I am... I'm just getting hit by all kinds of garbage here. I do not think I am playing particularly well. Nice to get him to drop into the uh, into the fog. Had you been seeing the Fury Mega Rakaz? Got the impression she was quite a handful, though I guess the same can probably be said of you there, huh? You two have fun. News really does get around, huh? I'm gonna take 20% dodge. Probably that. Probably that's not a big surprise. Uh, Athena versus $200. Well, we don't have Athena yet, right? So she would be she would be 5% damage. Yeah. Oh no, we we totally do have Athena. Uh, that being the case, I'm taking the money. I'm in. I totally forgot we have Athena's age. Just 100% slipped my mind. I'd like to see you dodge the following. All right. Well, I don't want to disappoint my dad. That was pretty good. We got a we got a fair number of hits there before the shields went up. Is that gonna reach him? Uh, not quite. But we can pull it through at least. Oops, that's not where I wanted that to go at all. Okay, now we got him. Now it's good. Build feels pretty strong. Uh, we should probably take the Artemis thing here. I mean, like, I know shopping, but... And, and we will definitely get boon plus some kind of value off of the shop, but we don't necessarily know it'll be an Artemis boon, and there's a thing we are definitely still hunting for here. Thanatos? Death is inescapable. You look like you could use a hand. Uh, you know what I don't want in a relationship? For my boyfriend to show up and announce that he is inescapable. That makes me <laughs> that makes me worried. Here they come. Fresh for the taking. Well then, have at it. Okay, so we're getting a fair amount of of kills here. The doom is very helpful. that through the middle. I mean, we're not going to get that guy. I don't even know why I bothered. This guy we might. Uh, no, he got it. Shoot. Ah, I tried to get it out of the zone. We're doing a really bad job of kill stealing here. Damn it. That's the problem with, like, coming at one of his zones from off-screen, is you don't know how long it's been up, so you have no idea how much time you have left. Uh, I'm gonna reroll. Okay, 12 damage support fire, I will take it. Save some for me next time. That was actually pretty close. You, you did okay. You acquitted yourself admirably. So I think we're going to take the Dionysus on this one. Especially since it's going to be higher rarity. Let's just hope he offers us the special replacement, because that would be really cool to have. And if not, it's fine. We'll be fine. Mind if I join the fray, which is Dusa, you there? I'm going to pull Dusa in. I, this, this one's really... It can be quite frustrating if you do not have a deflect. Um, yeah, that's working the way I wanted it to. Look at all those arrows. Oh, 
Thank you, Dusa. Oh, Dionysus. Uh, Drunken Strike. Do we take it? I'm gonna reroll. I'm, I'm gonna be greedy. What else? Drunken Dash, I will take. Drunken Dash. So we have we have now a source of hangover. And honestly, it's not even that bad. And we'll just do that that thing I was talking about, where we, we dash all over people, use the attack to charge up the the laser, and then fire the laser right after. Slam dances. We can get all of our stuff going pretty much all at once here. And the damage can be quite extreme, but also it's going to be a little bit frantic and hard to tell what's going on. And I'm definitely going to get hit sometimes because of it. Also, enemies who do that constantly jumping around thing are going to, uh, going to find themselves catching a lot of hangover, which is nice. This is definitely a build where we are just hitting a lot, and so we're getting a ton of support fire. Over there. Who doesn't love this stuff? Okay, support fire uh, support fire palm is real good, actually. And then this is a wonderful time to go shopping. Course is set. If we had the opportunity to rob Hermes or to rob um, to rob our dude Charon here, I would definitely take it. I, I think we can take him. Just what I need. Uh, it's got to be pressure points, right? Hey, it's me again. Ooh. You know, actually, given our situation right now, I think fully loaded might be great. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Three three-second recharging trippy shots. And remember, with Support Fire, you get an arrow whenever your attack connects and deals damage, or your special connects and deals damage, or you cast at all, regardless of what happens with the cast. So having additional bloodstones means we get a lot of additional arrows. We'll have to catch up some other time, Lerny, as I'm in a bit of a rush. Right, we'll step back a little bit. And of course, it is worth noting that um, my shield being out and everything, like we we have a build here that creates a lot of even more visual noise than usual. So uh, this particular Lerny, this particular main head is a real threat to us. What did I even take damage from there? I guess there must have been a red circle on the ground that I walked into because they're invisible. So there's no way to no way to know ahead of time. It's like, why would you make them red? It's going pretty okay, I think. I think we're going to save Dusa. I don't think we need Dusa. Oh, Lord. That's a lot of effects. Yeah, the red circles on the like there's no way. There's no way you could possibly see the red circles. As you wish. Alright, what if I were just invincible for a while while I clean this up? pretty good. It feels like a pretty solid build to me. And clear. Even though in some ways it is quite silly. Claimed a bounty. Alright, so I think we probably want to force in a new god rather than trying to force Ares, because the 5% damage is is too significant, right? 
So who are we missing that we would like to have? Uh, Demeter has some cool general purpose stuff. Um, very often my, my answer to this question is Athena, but we already have Athena. Boy, yeah, I don't know. It could be Zeus. We could we could get lightning bolts off Zeus with the um, the near miss dodge thing. Let's bring Zeus on. Try another one, maybe. To the top. Yeah, we really Check. we took an annoying amount of damage against the Hydra, but I don't feel too bad about it because most of it was unavoidable. Like you know, just stuff falling on our head from circles that were on the ground that we could not see. Nice and cool up here. So you know. That's annoying, but it happens. Um, yeah. It is probably hearts. We pro we may not actually need any more health at this point, but I don't feel confident yet. We need an awful lot of uh, <laughs> we need an awful lot of HP before I feel confident. How did one of those miss? Ow. Huh, my shield throw is not throwing. There it goes. Look what I found. There's a little bit of wind up animation on the shield throw that you yourself can interrupt. And I think it's less true with the other shields. But this one, this one does take a minute to come out. I'm not going to do an Elysium Trove for darkness, I don't think. There we go, that's working. Also, dashing away from these things does give them hangover, which is uh, significant. Okay, butterflies down. I recalled my shield, but I have no idea how far away it is, so it might be a moment. Hermes helped me dodge a uh, a chariot that was at no point visible to us. I think it must have spawned down here and it was behind the statue for the entirety of its life. Okay, so Hermes versus Coin is definitely Hermes. Hmm. Would I take this? You know what? Yes. Yes, I would. We even have the opportunity to uh, to give a nectar to Chaos here. In the name of Hades. Hmm. I think I'm going to take Hyper Sprint. I don't know that we actually care about any of this stuff very much. Stupid teleporting butterfly ball. We can keep the the eye population a little bit under control here with just kind of like passive area damage. God, it's producing way more butterflies than normal, huh? You know what? This is gonna go temporary imperviousness. Until I can kill this thing. Okay. I think that was a reasonable way to spend two, uh, two charges of a god gauge. Oops. Threw my shield into a wall. Come here, you. 
you. Stop dashing around. You're just gonna die tired. I eagerly anticipate getting to meet you face to face someday, dear nephew. Just as soon as you can up and out of there. Hmm. Does it make sense for us to do short calls? I think I'm gonna take lightning reflexes. Clouded Judgment's interesting too. I'm gonna take lightning reflexes. But I do think Clouded Judgment is definitely... Oh man, they put it up against my second hammer though. If we don't take it, we might not see... Okay, I think I just... I just wasted some gold, but I would rather ensure that we get the second hammer. Because we may not see it again if we don't take it now. Man, Festive Fog is so good. Just get a bunch of a bunch of really frustrating enemies permanently locked up so they're not doing whatever whatever thing it is that makes them frustrating. Also, support fire is always really, really powerful. But it does feel like it's uh, super unfair and obviously the best boon in the game in certain builds. Right, enough. Enough with the bows. Get over there in the fog. I kind of can't believe that was the end of that room. Uh, attack hits twice and does not knock foes away. I think is actually pretty okay for us here. Let's go, Aegis. And it's on the list. We still still have prophecies to earn. If we got the chance to replace our attack with um, with Dionysus's attack, I think we should take it. Uh, oh boy, that's interesting. Well, we are certainly going to be, um, certainly going to be taking that, that trial, I think. It's scary, but it's powerful. Tart and tasty. Pleasure okay, trippy shot bonus, definitely worthwhile. I'm going to reroll, looking for... What about these? Okay, no such luck, but premium vintage is still good. To my health. All right, yeah, we have 280 health already. This is gonna be tough. I think we're gonna upset Artemis here. I have to pick a side. Artemis's thing is, I think, more avoidable for me than Zeus's is. Let's use that risk. So it's like billowing strength versus static discharge, right? If we do short calls, billowing strength can be up a lot. And we could use our call as like a strategic way to dash in and just get some punches off. I'm gonna take discharge. Oh look, turns out it's time for target practice once again. Start running, Zagreus. Had to do it, Artemis. She's quietly menacing. She sounds much less angry than a lot of the other gods do, but she's definitely scary. Oh my god, it's almost impossible to... We, we create so much visual noise with this build, it's almost impossible for me to watch the zones on the ground. I should probably have thought of that. Ah. Yeah, you got other problems, Zag. I'm, I'm doing my best here. Love enemies who will just stand in the shield and let me get all of my support fire. Ouch. Yep, walked right to that. Where do you think you're going, buddy? The 
the greater version of Epic Athena's Call really does last a long time, huh? I will admit, mistakes were made back there, so you just don't make them again next time, alright? <laughs> again, quietly menacing. <laughs> um, I might take clean kill here, even though it is the lowest rarity of our options. I do like the Hunter's Mark, it's just, it's... N there are a lot of situations where you don't get a lot of benefit from it. It does help you clear out normal rooms really easily. You know what? I'll take it. The dead better hide. It does let you clear out normal rooms really easily. Uh, okay, I think we're gonna go for the Erebus Gate. Do I want yarn? I kind of want yarn. I'm, I'm going to take this yarn. It's going to mean that it's going to be awkward for us to shop anytime soon, but Exclusive it's fine. Access. Can you evade my wretches, boy? I sure hope so. Oh. Ooh, that's bad. Okay. So it's... A ton of guys shooting a ton of projectiles, and then also Gorgon. Yeah, Zeus's Zeus's definition of near miss is so generous. Right, let's make sure we kill the eye. All right, already down to just one, huh? Pretty great, <laughs> pretty great damage. And I think it'll start being affected by the fog as soon as we break its armor, right? Looks like the answer is yes. I believe it is not. No, never mind. It started firing again. All right. We can help give you that. Yes. We made it somehow. Um. Hmm. So we don't really have enough money for this to be any good. I don't think. Let's. Let's do this thing. I think a big part of the value of Erebus is the fact that you always get three room choices afterward. In the name of Hades. Mm -hmm. Okay, epic clean kill seems great. Honestly, Hunter's Instinct, also great. Maybe even the better choice. a pleasure in Elysium than vanquishing the likes of you. I don't know, getting to hear this song is pretty good. Yo, I am really fast. <laughs> that was a pretty pleasant number of support fire arrows. I'm faster than his chariot. Like with the um with the with the dash or with the, the little the mini sprint post dash, I can just straight outrun the chariot. Ah, this is bad. It's a bad place to be doing it. Oh he he doesn't quite travel as the, at the same speed as the shield does. Hit something else. Ow. Yeah, I ran into that. Behold our power. Stand your ground, Hellspawn, and I shall run you down. Nobody has ever stood their ground as much as I was standing it right there. Yeah, Asterius uh, walks. I just, I just put myself under the wheels of the chariot. Asterius walks at almost exactly the same speed that the shield travels. So, in situations where we're able to get it on top of him and then pull him and it toward us simultaneously, feels very good. Not for the 
He's pretty good. I think we got all three of them, right? Oh, he stopped. Okay. At some point there, he realized the error of his ways. <laughs> That's pretty effective. Oops, I got stuck in the wall. I'm pretty sure this is just gonna kill him. Yep. Turns out the Blitz Disc knows how to do its job. That'll do. Hope you enjoyed the show, my good shade. <laughs> and then I left my shield in Elysium. Well, gee, what do you think? Um, I mean, I would love to pick a thing that increases our damage, because I don't really think we need more survivability, but I don't know that we have anything. Uh, I guess we could take Distant Memory and just try to stay really far away from Hades. That doesn't, that doesn't feel great. I guess, actually, the best increase for our damage is just going to be forcing another god, right? Or, potentially, uh, Palm Blossom could be good damage. You know what? Let's take this because it's still not max level. I don't, I don't know that it's... It's probably not better than the 5% from including an additional god, but I do think that it will be... Um, do think that it will be very helpful. Uh, and you know what? I do think we can afford to take that. So close. Yes. Well, this feels pretty good. This feels like a really, really powerful one. The fact that they actually gave us support fire uh, was huge. But even without it, I think this kind of weird little build has turned out to be really strong. You don't usually take Doom on both attack and special. So that's of dubious value. Uh, let's go Something get... I'm going to take this first. And then we're going to go get that. Let's see what's and then we're going to have so much health. I just took damage from that rat while it was crawling out of the ground. I didn't realize that that dealt damage. Okay, apparently you do not want to be over top of them, or even close to over top of them while they are burrowing. Let's make a zone of no doing stuff over here. This is the no doing things zone. You are allowed to stand here and feel drunk, and that is it. I'm glad the room ended when it did, because I foolishly dashed right in front of the trap, and I definitely had like a slow motion moment where I'm where I was like, "Oh God, I'm gonna get cut in half." There's no way we're going to have any of this stuff still active for Hades. Right. We've never we've never seen the thing be at the end of the first branch. And I would wager... Uh-oh. But the tiny vermin. <laughs> I still love the tiny vermin. I would wager that you can't get it on the first one. I bet that's the case. Because if you didn't have to do even one uh, end of branch room, I think it would just make sticks too easy out. Okay, the dash is in fact three dashes. Gotta remember that. I remember that he had his little charge up dash attack. I did not remember that part of it though. Uh, 
Again, the zone of please don't do anything to me. Uh, this is, is being enforced. No. No! Stay away from me! Tiny vermin! Okay, so the tiny vermin becomes untargetable way earlier in its burrow animation than I would have expected. This does feel a little unfair, though. What? He bit me! You monster. You little monster. Boy, he, uh, he really explodes, huh? You tiny vermin. Curse of Pain was a good thing for our Palm Blossom to, uh, to give us a level on. Enough of this place. Yeah, I was standing there with my, um with my greater call all queued up and I was like, okay, as soon as he goes to Burrow, I'm going to press the button and he hit us immediately. <laughs> like, we took damage before I even realized that he was burrowing down. Fish. Hooray! I, gap, huh? I do love a gup. I can use this. Uh, Clouded Judgment's not bad. Yeah. So what do we want next? Do we want another Athena boon? Honestly, I think I'd rather go Zeus, even though, even though the uh, the room ending chambers on those branches are going to be a little easier for us. I think. Oh, that's bad! Don't stand in that. Poison. Okay. Frankly, I'm a little surprised I was able to even tell that the poison was coming out of the vent there. So we're getting a lot of near misses dashing around. We have our uh, we have our permanent stun zone. We have the shield constantly pulsing damage. We are not actually in a tremendous amount of danger from these these normal rooms that are just like a huge herd of enemies. Maybe it is better for this build for us to go to the normal branches instead of the uh, the mini boss ones. I would love to pretend that was the plan. I did not really think about it, but it was super awesome that we managed to get the satyr stunned at the edge of the cloud right here, so he was constantly being hit by both traps. Hey, a satyr sack already. Hear me on my authority. Okay. Um. Yeah, billowing strength is fine. Now back to Cerberus. Maybe we'll do some short calls. Bit of an aftertaste. And we do have... An no, we do not. We do not have enough money for anything. Well, I'm certainly not going to do another branch. I think we're in really good shape now. Well, hold on. Oh, that's right. It doesn't show you on this how many um, how many encounters you need to finish leveling it. It was like 20-something, though, right? We're not close. I'm just going to go ahead and go. Let's just end the run. Cerberus again accepts the sack. I think we've done some fine work here. I owe you one, boy. Where could he be? It is a good question. There's not really anywhere around here for a dog that size to go, you wouldn't think. Um, because, like, obviously, there's there's some value in continuing to level the keepsake, but what we really want to be doing is starting new runs a lot so that we can try to find um, Eurydice late, and right? Patroclus. Your rampage through my realm ends here and now. Also, my headphones are falling apart. Hey, look, fish! Alright, it's a lot of pressure. We need that fish. Potentially. We may or may not need that fish, and there's no way to know.
You know what actually would have been really cool? Um, is the... Uh, the Dionysus Demeter duo that changes Trippy Shot into a, an Ice Cloud. That may, that may have been a good enough reason by itself to pull Demeter instead of Zeus. I'm getting hit by everything. What is wrong with me? Ooh, that's gonna... Yeah, okay. Thank you, Hermes. I did that thing that I was talking about uh, last episode where I dashed immediately instead of... Uh, instead of waiting a second for him to wind up. I'm with you, man. Yeah, I'm not embarrassed about asking for help. Okay. I thought I might have screwed up there by not, um, not dashing out as my call was coming to an end. So it seems like when we call Dusa in, you know, it, it deletes all projectiles from the screen, right? It seems like it also returns my shield to me immediately. Which is interesting. I don't know, like... You have few enough charges of your summon that, that couldn't really be a thing you do very strategically. Okay. I'm doing a terrible job here. I'm just getting hit by everything. Okay, you can cast that over top of those. That's nice. But yeah, we're not going to be able to hit him over there. You see that it wasn't able to bounce over the thing because we were too close to it, so like, actually the height does matter. It actually is modeling a real 3D space. I'm kind of surprised by that. This feels, this feels okay. You want to just stand over there and do that. Ow. Not have my eyes on the, on the Hades. I'm kind of surprised that shield's not hitting him. Enough of you. Uh, wait a second. Not finished. So, hold on. The physics of that don't make any sense at all. I walked downward which made his beam capable of hitting me over top of the column, not below it. There's definitely some kind of weird collision issue. Um, and that, that really, that puts it into very sharp, uh, <laughs> sharp perspective there. That's wild. You had your chance. I feel like I still have my chance. My chance is still half. We're just going to go over here and fight him while he's doing lasers. Ow. Uh, I failed to you again. I... How? Such... Strength. Boy. It turns out that go impervious thing is annoying when I do it, too. <laughs> How about that? Father's name. Yeah, that was just a that was just a middle management cutter, huh? I mean, I did I did kill the middle management spawned guys a bunch. What a weird, huh? I felt Aegis shudder. Hooray! My dash leveled up. Let's fish. All right, let's try not to get the trout. Come on out. <gasps> I caught a bass. We did it. We caught a new thing. Still two fish undiscovered. 
The seas and rivers of my country on the surface absolutely teemed with marine life, and I dare say my people were starting to grow quite skillful at capturing such creatures. I could not begin to tell you all the different species they would offer up at markets, including foreign and exotic varieties reserved for kings. You know, like the bass. I guess bass are not an old-world so fish. Really did Zagreus attempt to gain the surface that way? He just rose too quickly. And we know how that one goes from Icarus's tail. Although it wasn't really like Icarus's tail. What actually happened was he got the bends. You know, mercury bubbles in the brain. It's very dangerous. Uh, well, that was pretty good, all in all. I agree. We did all right there. Well done, Zagreus. Thank you very much, my son. You know, gift-giving customs of the underworld are just so much more straightforward than the complicated social graces of Olympus. If there are other ways of showing one's appreciation than with nectar and the like, well, they must pale in comparison, I'm sure. Um, so, are uh, things with you and father, everything all right so far? Things are good, Zagreus. I'm from Olympus. All the relationships I've ever known have been the complicated sort. But with your father, despite our different dispositions and interests, beneath it all we share a simple understanding. And what understanding is that, if you can share? That we're all we've got, and that we love each other, through thick and thin. Wait, you're not, you're not thinking about having more children, are you? That's a bit of a leap. <laughs> no, you're plenty. Sick oh, burn. Are, Sick mom burn. Achilles, your pact with father is officially amended, sir. Specifically, it no longer has any stipulation barring you from entering Elysium during the indefinite term of your employment. On my authority in the name of Hades. Thank you for your service. What are you? You're serious. I'm able to go. You're right, I feel it. I'm unbound. So I can simply leave right now you can simply leave right now and might i add it's about damn time i should get going then although i am unprepared i didn't think it would come to this not that i had no faith in you it's just incidentally there's this one glade out in elysium i highly recommend go to him sir you've waited long enough fear is for the weak fear is for the weak Farewell for now, lad. I can't thank you enough. Farewell for now, sir. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It, it makes sense that that is the thing that would unlock that. Alright, so we have more, more hearts with him as well. Well, it turns out we're going to end up meeting a whole lot of Ambrosia, actually. But that's fine, we're working on it. Ah, we are going to get a whole lot of Ambrosia. You and my son... It pleases me to see the two of you have grown so close of late. Thanatos has always led a solitary life. He never would complain of it, and yet, I know he yearned for closeness in his way. Thank you, Nyx. I think we each have harbored feelings for each other for some time. We've finally been true about them. Then in this, you each achieved what you desired. I ask that you take care of my dear son. I often fear that he shall work himself too hard. Oh, he's all right. Though I'll be sure to keep an eye on him. Then very well. Electo's really something else. She must have been a real handful, huh? My youngest sister takes a lot of pleasure from her work. I've learned something of that from her. But that's as far as we relate, I think. She could learn a thing or two from you, I'm sure. About having a little common decency, perhaps. She won't be learning anything from me. The contempt you get from her is unconditional. I learned not to take it personally. I see. I mean, I guess you'd sort of have to, huh? Uh, Ambrosia for Two Blood is... A... It's not as unthinkable as it once was, but I think unnecessary. Here's the catch of the day. Or night. What's that? Okay. Up? I'm, I'm assuming it was the bass that was worth an ambrosia. Did 
Feels like it's been a minute since we saw Dusa, huh? I guess she has a lot of rafters to clean. It's only a matter of time, I suppose. May Achilles and Patroclus make up for lost time. All right. Well, I mean, we're out here saving people, so now it's just continue to grow closer with more Olympians. We're trying, man. I'm trying. I wonder if this will actually change again. If, if at some point, after enough practice, I will uh, come over here and he'll just belt out an entire song. One more. One more. Come on. Let me, let me, there we go. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess let's go... Let's just continue maxing out relationships, I guess. Let's go give some, some ambrosia to Skelly. Hope you enjoyed that vintage bottle of ambrosia last time, Skelly, because I got you another. Here. Ah, oh, no way, boy. Are you kidding me right now? Why are you even... I... Look, I, I just stand around and let you beat me up. You don't have to do this. You don't even know who I am. Who I was. You're my friend, mate. It's all that matters. Although, I don't suppose you're willing to divulge those types of details, just out of curiosity. I am awfully curious. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Getting more darkness with this. The heart. Did I me did I ever heart. actually win with Rama? Rama. I don't think I did. I think I think Rama deserves a little bit of attention. All right. So, who do we still have? We have one Ambrosia to give to Skelly. We've now unlocked Achilles. We can do some of that. We got to meet Orpheus. I'm assuming Orpheus is the next time we see him will be at Eurydice, right? I would like very much to see that actually occur. Uh, we still need Ambrosia for you. We don't know what unlocks your thing. I, although, I I would bet next time we talk to her, if Orpheus is actually down there, that will unlock it. it it's not impossible that there's more stuff we have to do, though. Because it might be the case that Orpheus can't actually get there by himself. In fact, I would be rather surprised if he could. Oh yeah, we gotta continue giving Nectar to Cerberus. Hold on a second. I didn't feed the dog. Everyone, look who it is. Okay, okay, Dad, calm down. You like this stuff, don't you, boy? Well, good, because I like sneaking it over to you. The delectable taste of nectar is enough to briefly sate even the ferocious appetite of the Hound of Hell. You know, you gotta pet the dog. It's very important that you pet the dog. Alright, we're gonna go trade keys for Nectar, um, to have a Nectar, just in case we run into Boldy. I don't think there's anybody out there. Oh, Chaos. I'm gonna bring two Nectar in case we run into Boldy and Chaos. I think those are the only people out there that we, uh, we still might need it for. We're in the middle of a conversation, Zach. Catch up with you some other time, alright? Damn, I got extremely bounced. It turns out polykills are complicated. Alright, well I think that's going to be it for, uh, wait, maybe not. Skelly, is it really true you don't want to talk about how you got here? Just curious who you used to be, what you were like, your real name. Hey, what makes you think this isn't my real name, pal? I'm offended. Sorry, what I meant was, I was just interested to get to know you better. After all you've done to help. Anything you can share? Trade you for a detail about me. Well, all right. I was once a commander of men. Name of Skelemius. Captain of the Cretan Second Fleet. Sailing on Athens and the King Minos. We were unstoppable. But then one day, one wrong turn, and we sailed straight into the waters of Charybdis. I love Skelemius. This is definitely a lie, right? Like a hundred percent. Skelly, that's that's incredible. So then you and your crew, you perished at sea. I uh <laughs> Boy, yo, oh, you were something else, you know. All that Skelemius stuff. I could have had you eaten out of my hand for days. 
Oh, I get it. You got me. Fine then, Scalameus, but I don't appreciate the trick. Oh, <laughs> but I do. <laughs> and that's really what matters, isn't it? All right, now I think we're done for the day. That is going to be it for us for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, uh, we're going to keep just sort of blindly groping around for things that might please the Olympians. I think this fish thing makes sense, but I honestly have no idea how we might break any of the other locks. And then, you know, hopefully we'll encounter some of our friends out there in the world getting their lives back together. And we'll see you then.